So are you trying to practice, but the valves on your trumpet are starting to get stuck? Don't worry, today we're gonna to show you how to oil those valves so you can get right back to your practice. So to get started with oiling your valves, you're first gonna need a couple of things. Of course, you're gonna need your trumpet ready to go with a valve that's getting stuck when you try to play it. And you'll also need a small bottle of valve oil. These bottles usually come with the instrument, but if you lost yours or if you just don't have it, you could buy them on Amazon or pick them up at any local music store. The brand doesn't really matter at first, so just make sure you pick up a bottle and you keep it with the trumpet at all times. Once you have your oil and your trumpet ready, we can start the process. First, unscrew the top part of the valve so that you can pull the valve freely out. Sometimes these can be a little tricky to maneuver and if they're super tight, you can wrap a rag around it to really make sure that you get a good grip. Never use tools. If you try to put pliers or any kind of tools to the instrument, you can cause serious damage requiring an expert repair job that can cost a, quite a bit of money. So try to avoid using tools. If at any point you don't feel comfortable with this process, talk to your director or your local music shop and they'll be happy to set you straight. So once that valve is free, you can now pull that valve out and actually take a look at the inside of the valve. What you're looking for is the silvery part towards the bottom. And when you're doing this, it's best to keep the valve still in its casing so that it doesn't fall out or get nicked or get lost or confused with the other valves. But once you expose that silver, you want to apply just two to three drops of valve oil to the outside of that silver cylinder. If you apply more, it can actually make your trumpet play worse as the extra valve oil gums up the inside of the horn and will slow your valves down instead of speeding them up. So be careful that you don't add too much. You could always go and add a little bit more later. So once you apply that oil, you're gonna wanna spread that oil around by moving the valve up and down and giving it a little bit of a spin so that the oil kind of circulates through that valve. Last but not least, we have to put it back together. Putting the instrument back together is actually a pretty simple process. Holding the horn like we're gonna play it, we wanna go ahead and put the valve into the cylinder so that the number that's on the front of each valve is facing you as the player. Somewhere around this point, the valve will click into place and no longer spin. That's how you know you've got it in the right spot. If after you're done putting the instrument together, you hear a bit of a clicking sound when you move the valve up and down, don't worry, it's actually a pretty easy fix. All you have to do is tighten their valve a little bit more and that sound should go away right away. Now there are a couple of things you want to look out for when oiling your valves. First of all, if you put the instrument back together and you try to blow through it and no air goes through, it's probably the result of a valve being backwards. Go back and take a look at each valve and make sure they're facing forwards. Another common problem is that your valves might stay really, really sticky even after you oil the instrument one or two times. If this is the case, odds are you need to have your instrument cleaned. Take it to a local repair shop or talk to your director to find out how you might be able to get your instrument cleaned from the inside. Another thing you can do to prevent this from happening is make sure that you don't eat or drink anything besides water while you're playing or right before you're playing. Anything you blow into your horn besides, well, air will certainly get in the way of your valves working well and can cause your instrument not to function. Well, that's it. I hope now your instrument is working really, really well and your valves are moving nice and smooth. I hope this video was helpful to you, and if it was, please leave us a like or go ahead and click that subscribe button and we'll make sure to have more videos coming your way on how to keep your instrument in tip-top shape. Thanks again for watching, 